hormones means it's androgen and testosterone okay so before we uh, get into this topic I want you to you know, if you have not subscribed to my channel please uh, go ahead and subscribe uh, to my channel and uh, do leave a comment if you like this topic okay all right let's get in there male sex hormones uh, hormones basically chemical it's uh, secreted from your gland and gets into the bloodstream and goes acts on your target organs to complete its function that's the journey of a hormone we have got a lot of common hormones in both male and female right the hormones are produced from your uh, many parts in your uh, body like uh, glands produce hormones uh, all the hormones are being controlled by your uh, gland in your brain in the hypothalamus we have a hormone called uh, different hormones that are secreted by a gland called pituitary gland okay it's in the base of your brain that hormone controls the all the other hormones from your body so when i say male sex hormones androgen and testosterone right androgen is a male sex hormone it is responsible for a person becoming a sexually mature adult to reproduce and this testosterone is the most important androgen male sex hormone uh, to have a normal and healthy reproductive and sexual life and function when i say reproductive and sexual life and sexual function i'm talking about puberty right so this testosterone is very essential for physical changes that takes place at puberty in terms of uh, uh, enlargement of penis uh, or uh, facial hair and body hair and uh, bone and muscle growth and everything okay so testosterone is produced from your testes that is why it is called testosterone right so which cell produces the testosterone is leydig cells in your testes that produces this testosterone okay and th these testicles are guarded by your scrotal sac okay because these testicles should be kept in a ideal temperature to produce a test testosterone and thereby it increases your sperm count see uh, there are certain things are very very essential when it comes to sperm sperm volume is very important and each and every sperm health is important and motility is important because motility is very important if the sperm's motility is not good if it's so lazy if it's not active it's no good right and virility is important okay so volume health of each and every sperm motility and virility so all four things are very very important and we have this testosterone natural testosterone uh, does all this job and how are we going to improve it how are we going to promote the uh, further secretion of testosterone thereby it improves your sexual life and the sexual production and other things right we've got uh, some super foods here number one on the list is what we have on the list is dark chocolate this dark chocolate you know many women love dark chocolate eating dark chocolate they keep eating dark chocolate every day many women love that and this dark chocolate contains l arginine L arginine is considered to be uh, one of the most important uh, factors uh, to promote uh, uh, nucleic acid synthesis and uh, 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 this is a uh, sperm motility and the virility so consider eating uh, dark chocolate before you uh, hit the bed at night uh, instead of going for a uh, you know nice dessert uh, have some dark chocolate okay so that will help your uh, motility of your sperm and what we have on the list next is eggs eggs is one of the uh, one of the complete foods what we have right uh, eggs contain almost everything in in a, in a min, in a minimal amount it contains uh, some vitamins minerals and trace elements in trace elements uh, zinc is uh, considered as uh, one of the most important trace elements for sexual uh, and uh, reproductive uh, function and sexual reproductive health third is a uh, berries when it comes to berries uh, each and every berry is important and among those berries goji berries is considered to be one of the most important berries for increasing your sperm volume and it also it is also rich in antioxidants when any uh, fruits or when any dry fruits or seeds are rich in antioxidants you you can consider this antioxidants is going to be fighting against these free radicals free radicals are very bad okay they are going to kill your own cells so these antioxidants kill these uh, free radical scavengers and protect your sperms 
okay so go remember this goji berries in your mind and uh, fourth is the uh, most common one is a uh, bananas bananas contain a uh, vitamin b magnesium and an enzyme called uh, bromelain when i when it comes to trace elements zinc magnesium and uh, selenium are all very essential for uh, for for sperm production and uh, motility okay you also need to have a uh, good volume and the healthy sperms and motility and uh, virility if one has got enough volume and not uh, not a uh, healthy barriers or not a uh, motile barriers it's equal to you know almost nothing right so that's why i'm saying so focus on these fruits okay and uh, number 5 what we have is uh, garlic garlic uh, is not a fruit but uh, just have to mention it here garlic is um, uh, many people use garlic for lowering uh, blood cholesterol and thereby reduces cholesterol garlic contains some um, allicin and selenium as i mentioned before uh, this allicin is one of the antioxidants and it, uh, it fight against this uh, free radical scavengers and it promotes and promotes the uh, temperature that is required for the testicles to produce testosterone so that it uh, indirectly promotes the uh, promotes the development of sperm and uh, the volume of sperm as well okay and we have uh, is spinach anything appears green is very very healthy spinach is rich in folic acid and again in turn folic acid is very very essential for uh, this nucleic acid metabolism dna and rna this folic acid you need this folic acid for cell development and cell maturation and that's where it comes uh, for a, sp a sperm maturation okay when the sperm is mature it can go out and actually do its job okay on the list where we have is asparagus many people you know don't eat asparagus but asparagus is a, is a plant it's a it's packed with a, a vitamin c vitamin c is very essential for uh, in this uh, process uh, in the sperm production volume and uh, motility and virility and uh, and uh, maintaining ideal temperature around the scrotal sac and of course we have as walnuts walnut is a rich in omega 3 so anything any good fats are are uh, are good for uh, testosterone secretion okay and in turn your sperm function and we have oysters 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 uh, you know many uh, indian people uh, don't eat uh, oysters but in you know, people in western countries they do like oyster and uh, oysters is a damn good source of glycogen and taurine and it has also got a uh, uh, zinc and selenium as well as i said before antioxidants you know do this miracle in fight against this sort of free radical scavengers and improve the motility volume of sperm and the virility as well okay and uh, we have next is ashwagandha this ancient the the great uh, aphrodisiac they have been using this in cooking process since ages this ashwagandha and uh, uh, what they claim is that uh, this improves uh, the sperm motility more if uh, if this is given to someone who has got a low sexual low sex drive and uh, libido who have a low sex drive this ashwagandha improves their sex drive and indirectly uh, improves the sperm uh, quality and motility as well and uh, next we have what we have is pomegranate pomegranate uh, uh, again it, in it increases your sex drive it can be uh, taken as juice or you can uh, eat raw fruits it's, it's all good pomegranate uh, the, this has got uh, antioxidant properties antioxidants when the sperms are when the sperms are produced when the sperms are out in these um, when the sperms are produced out when they go and try to reach the egg uh, it needs a penetration right so for that we need that virility is very important pomegranate improves the virility of uh, sperms okay and that's why pomegranate is very very important in sexual life and pumpkin seeds uh pumpkin seeds uh, of course it has it is rich in uh, antioxidants phytosterols and amino acids and uh, boost your sperm health and virility and uh, and it helps uh, uh, it helps each uh, it helps uh, each sperm to penetrate the layer of egg to get in there we have millions of sperms attack one egg uh, and finally one sperm succeeds to get in there okay and uh, this pumpkin seeds are really really helpful in in this process and what we have on the list next is carrots carrots are, are filled with beta carotenes and antioxidants and helps in this uh, process of uh, 
uh, helping uh, more sperm volume health health of each and every sperm and motility okay i have given you some information on this topic i guess guys um, i'll see you in my next video with more information okay and it's bye bye dr mahesh i'll see you in my next video all right then take care guys stay safe stay home bye bye